Hello guys and welcome for another video with Zen and in today's video I'm going to talk about the infantry hero Miyamoto Doichi and so what I'm going to cover I'm going to cover how to obtain him what talent tree you need to use what are his skills how to upgrade his skills how to combine him with other heroes and if he's worth using your legendary fragment or not so first of all Miyamoto is a lucky roulette hero so you can only obtain him by getting 10 fragments at the Luke Roulette of the Infantry Top Commander, so which is this week and it's going to be in two weeks as well. So next talent tree. So the talent tree I recommend to use is actually to max out the skill talent tree and then you can use the remaining of your points on the Infantry Squad tree and I would probably change mine and add 3 there to get an extra 3% traveling speed and probably remove one of these one. So that's what I would do. And then, so skill wise, so first skill, 2 heavens as 1. So I'll deal damage to 3 enemy squads in a fan shape area in front. Uh, damage factor of 13,000. And damage taken by each enemy squad reduced by 20% for every additional target. So if you have one target, you do 30,000 of damage factor. If you got two target, you will do 10,400 damage factor on each of the targets. So for a total of 20,800 damage. And then if you have three target, it's going to be 7,800 on each squad. So it's a, a total of 23,400 damage factor, which is really good. Uh, so that's what we want. I have a lot of damage factor. Then second skill, defensive posture. So when you lead only infantry squad, you increase the damage by up to 12%. And then you have a 20% chance on counter attacks to reduce the enemy HP by 27% for 3 seconds. So this is really good. So 20% on counter attack, it can apply for all the squads that attack you. And the 20% chance, as I mentioned a lot, so you got two effects, two uh, HP reduction every three rounds. So one round is five to six basic attack plus the skill damage. So pretty good. And then swift momentum, increase squad attack uh, by 30% and traveling speed by 15%. And then fourth skill, quick draw technique, increase infantry squad defense by up to 20%. And you've got another counter attack so with 20% chance to reduce the skill damage dealt by the enemy up to 28% for 3 seconds and last skills is so awakening skills is a skill enhancement of a swift momentum so the squad attack increase from 30% to 40% and traveling speed from 15 to 25% so this is a really good awakening skill so that's why I love uh, Miyamoto how you would upgrade with skills pretty easy so first one first and then I would choose the um, second one because uh, damage, increased damage has better impact than the 30% attack. So I would do this one first and then third one, I'll do this one. And then fourth one I'll, is the fourth skill as well. So it's a one, two, three, four. So why I would do this, um, you can see here is 20% defense and here is 30% attack. And here you've got traveling speed, so apply all the time. And this is only when you when you, um, you are attacked, number one, and number two is on skill damage. So and so it's three seconds. On. So you not you might not even sure that when you get the skill damage reduction, it will apply on the skill or not, because it might just have three basic attacks after. So maybe this will not even apply. So it's pretty rare that this thing's gonna apply. So how to combine him with other heroes? is a really good uh, leader because he's got a skill talent tree as you can see here and then so he's an infantry so um, you can pretty much combine him with any other infantry heroes and what i think the best assistant or even leader is actually added and i'm gonna say this because you see added and miyamoto both share attack uh, boost and uh, traveling uh, speed boost so if you take this one you see infantry squad attack increase and then infantry squad traveling speed increase and if i take this one so you see here infantry squad attack uh, infantry squad attack here 
and then uh, traveling speed is increased here as well. So that's why I would combine Miyamoto with Adit. So that was that's my first choice because you have a really good synergy between these two. You can also use this squad for like as a speedster. You can go kill the farmers. You can go bounty ground. You can go water wars if you want. It's a really good squad for um, for speed on the field. Otherwise, you've got other options. You can also you know pair him with thunder you can pair him with eddie riven and all of these heroes will really just provide different effect on the battlefield so if you pair him with uh, thunder you will have a really good tanky squad if you pair him with uh, eddie you will good you will have a good damage dealer and pretty robber squad if you combine him with riven not only you'll do a pretty good damage but you will also have a really good survivability so it depends what you want to do. Personally, uh, I have my added Miyamoto squad on the field. Um, I'll probably switch for Miyamoto added. So leading with Miyamoto when I want to have a um, really good traveling speed and modify my talent tree. So I have more speed with uh, Miyamoto on the talent tree and then more damage bonus with added so I can switch. Is it worth using your legendary fragment? And yes, of course, I think Miyamoto is one of the best infantry hero in the game. I probably, I'm not gonna say because it's really hard to tell between him, AD, and Riven. These three heroes are really good, so, um, but I definitely recommend him on the field, especially for the um, AoE attack, traveling speed, and the good stats. I think he's a really good hero. And so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.